Hey guys, welcome back, Morphologist here, and I'm bringing you some more Space Engineers. Now, if you're a keen observer or you're a Morphologist fan, you may notice that the ship currently being displayed is Battlestar Leviathan from one of my previous videos. Now, we're not here to talk about an old ship. No, we're gonna use this old ship instead for something a little different. This time, we're gonna use it for target practice. Say hello to my latest solution for personal boredom. I like to call it the Satellite Super Weapon for lack of a more creative name, but we'll get more into that in a bit. Maybe you guys can think of a cool name to put in the comments section. What makes it really cool are these awesome custom gun models I got from a Creolarius on the Steam Workshop. It's called Tank Factory. Now these things are awesome and are pretty much the inspiration for the ship. So now let's take a peek inside to see how this thing works. It's pretty sparse on the interior because I wanted this thing to be a basic mobile weapon, a no frills, all kills sort of thing. But that being said, I still did embellish just a little bit maybe. I can't help it, I just love doing this sort of thing. Anyway, so the interior is still pretty cool looking, but like I said earlier, the best part of the ship are the weapons and the way that they fire. And that's done by a series of groups and timer blocks. It's not that hard to actually set up, but the effect is pretty cool. Basically, the guns are grouped into different sections and are set off at different time intervals by the timer blocks. This means that you have some time to adjust for shooting at your enemy and continually hitting them for a short duration of time before having to reload. And this is what it looks like when you actually hit the firing group. Those things sound pretty powerful, huh? Now that is what I call shock and awe. If you want to blow somebody up, fine, but at least maybe do it in a little style. So you might be saying, all right, all right, morphologist, this sounds great, but can we see it actually shooting at something? Yes, what I said earlier, using my ship for target practice. Let's get back to that. So luckily enough, some of my friends were actually online during the filming of this video, and they were more than willing to help me out. So you can see what it looks like when you've got two of them fighting against one of my large carriers. It's pretty cool looking. But sadly, and probably quite obvious to you guys, the carrier didn't stand much of a chance without a complement of fighters to defend it. So it basically turned into a kill the carrier, and the carrier can do nothing but try to run away a ramp. But that doesn't make it any less entertaining. Yeah, so my ship defenses weren't working so well. Yeah, it doesn't look like the other. I mean, the cannons left on the front. At this point, I was trying to bring my front cannons to bear on the target in front of me. But it wasn't working out so well. Eventually, I realized that it was a lost battle for me and decided to try to escape or maybe find one of the vipers left over in the bay. Much to my dismay though, there wasn't much left of the viper bay, nor of my ship. My chances for a comeback seemed pretty slim. That is, until I found a lone viper. is mine! <laughs> what the hell? Oh, that's so little. These things are meant for large targets, not little. Did I hit you? I thought I actually managed to hit you, because I cannot aim this thing. I hit that. Yeah! <laughs> you got me! I'm going back to my ship! Where's my ship? Where'd it go? Where is it? Where did my ship go? Maybe we should know it. 
So, obviously, I lost, but it was pretty fun in the meantime. I hope you found this video entertaining, and if you did, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and tell your friends. A special shout out to G Fitty and Igorar who helped make this video possible. And finally, if you're interested in the mods, please check out the info section of the video. And I'll see you guys next time.